Hello everyone, welcome to episode 37 of the Dark Souls 2 walkthrough series. This is... well, Beacon speaking. Uh, so there is a fast way to just skip this whole area and go straight to the, uh, the next bonfire further up. Um, that requires you climb the ladder, um, otherwise you have to walk through like this. Now you may be wondering, that's a really odd setup you've got there. Yeah, this is the Orma and Reeve shield. They're probably one of my favorite weapons in the whole game. Um, explicitly, because they are buku silly retarded. Um, what the hell? They do a lot of damage. They're really fun. And very funny. So as you can see, I've already found two places that you might have to look out for. So look, it's a dragon. That guy tries to break your stuff. I am bad at this. <gasps> you broke my hood! And my ring! And my clothes! Alright, that's it. Whatever. I didn't need those things anyways. So I have one upgraded for, uh... Fire and one for lightning. Not a whole lot of difference between the two. Uh-oh. Should not have rolled into those eggs. That's how you piss off a dragon. Um, you're more than welcome to fight him, but that's not really doing it for me. So we're just gonna run on through. Break, fine, break all my stuff. That's cool. So the fastest attack that the Ormond Reeves have is their jump attack, so you just want to fly into people. Yeah, I kid you not, that, that's literally what we're going to do. We're just going to fly into people. And if we're lucky, we won't get knocked over the edge. Hey, you do your thing there, bud. Thank you for the souls. Or lack thereof. Sad day. They are all welcome to explode. I don't give two shits. Walk up through here, bunch of stuff. Dragon. Eh. Dragon's a pain in the ass, but you don't really have to worry about him. You are always free to just walk by. And in fact, I encourage it unless you're farming uh, dragon bones for upgrading boss weapons. You just fly through all of this stuff. Oop! I goofed. Ah! Make sure that you're hitting that, that uh, left-right click pretty hard. So uh, anyways, if you slide down that rope, it'll land you over here and you just walk up this area. You want to cross this bridge as quickly as possible because if you don't, there's a dragon who like jacks up the bridge. And boom, here you are, Dragon Shrine. Now, uh, Mr. Mysterious Head will pop up here and break your break your spirit by showing up out of nowhere. Do notice that his head got a lot smaller just to fit in there. I'm gonna go repair my stuff because I jacked all of it up. Let's see, repair.
Yes, everything I'm wearing. Yep. 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 Also these. Let's see, what other cool guy stuff did I get? Just this stuff? Hexers. Eh. Oh well. I think I'm wearing a medium armor. Anyways, back up to the Dragon Shrine. Now there are a couple things in here. The biggest and most important thing to find is the uh, third Dragon Crest ring. Everything else is kind of auxiliary to that. God, these weapons hit hard. Oh, Trade Keeper Sword. One of the best uh, longsword style weapons of the game. Right up there with uh, Fume Knight Sword for length and a fairly solid moveset. Um, Fume Knight Sword is uh, a soul item that you can get from killing uh, Raim. It's a pretty awesome dude. Dragon Knights, cool dude. Drake Keepers, not so much. I have a hard time believing these things actually run out of stamina. Just look at him. He's still going. Okay, bye. Oh shit! Guys, guys, look! I didn't even fight him! I was being a good guy! Why you gotta be such an asshole? Ah, oh, okay, I guess I'm supposed to fight him. Whew. First guys are all like bowing to me and shit, and these guys are trying to kill me. And there it is. You guys suck. So I guess I have no choice. Got a duel. What am I doing looking at my... Oh, that's right. Not for that, but... Oh, that's right, I can't do that. Ormas and Reeves have to be held in the right hands, otherwise they don't power stance. So, my fire will always have to be in my top, and my lightning on the other side. Which is another reason why I put them on opposing sides. Nummy. Could have sworn there was a summon around here. Oh well. See, look, they like bow and shit and everything. I can even stagger these suckers. I had a ring of break poise, but whatever. Um, Thank god these are the squishier ones. Yeah, see look. They leave me alone. So yeah, you just gotta duel the Drake Keepers. If you beat the Drake Keepers, they'll leave you alone. If you try and dodge around the Drake Keepers, they'll fuck you up. Good stuff. Good to know. Oh, yeah, these ones... Their, uh, downward slash goes through shields, so, you know, be wary.
I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to be invaded. This weapon's also super well known for pancaking. Fortunately, There is almost literally no difference between the uh, L1 and L2 of the power stance except for uh, time taken to actually fire it off. Um, except that it does have exquisite reach. Just absolutely fantastic reach. Yo, what up? Right, so, you're probably wondering, what the hell am I supposed to do with an Ashen Mist Heart? I'll tell you what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go kill friggin' giants. Then you use the giants' souls to help you kill Vendrick. Once you kill Vendrick, you can go challenge everybody down to the bottom. Problem is, I kinda killed Vendrick earlier. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So... Yeah. I got frustrated. Didn't know why I couldn't kill him. So I murdered him. Anyways, once you kill Vendrick, you're up and running for being the big boss dude guy. And everybody wants to suck your dick. Because you like that shit, you're gonna come down here. We know that one of these ain't really... Okay, I guess... This happened earlier, though. Symbol of the king. Opens the door. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. All the way down and around. And down. And down. And down. And down. And down. And down. And you know, just a little bit further down. And a little bit further down. And a little bit further down. Just a little bit farther. Just a bit further down. It's closer to the bottom. And there we go. Summon the head of Van Garl. And summon our good buddy ben, uh, ben Hart. You have no idea how surprised I was to see that uh, Van Garl had a shield and his sword and not just like his sword. So first things first, we're going to have to take down the uh, throne protectors. This is a two-on-two -two battle, similar to... Uh, Ornstein and Smog, if you remember those guys from uh, the first games. Basically, you pick one guy and focus him down as quickly as possible. Without getting murdered yourself. Generally, what's going to happen is one guy is going to uh, tank the ever-living shit out of us. And the other guy is going to get his attacks in.
Now the cool thing about these weapons is they can block um, if they manage to do so uh, mid-swing. And yet for some reason they don't block when they're at uh, full frontal position. Ah, that's, that's the kill. And that's my fault. <clears throat> Spent too much time healing and not enough time fighting. But we are going to do this the old-fashioned way, which is my uh, DPS build, because as much fun as this is, it's kind of slow and, ineffic and inefficient. Um, so we'll get our whips on, get our poison things on, wherever they went. Come on, where's my mythos and daggers? <sighs> and then my double blood swords. And then make ourselves human again. Yay. So much faster. Oh, no, wrong way. Come this way. Still gotta wear the ring to open the door. Choice that was stupid. Once it's open, it should stay that way. Walk, walk, walk. Where my Ava's boots? Yeah, there we go. Come all the way down again. So, you know, Double Whips were in the news the other day. I heard a song. It was called, uh, Watch Me Nay Nay. I don't know what the hell Nay Nay means, but, uh, I do like to watch things get whipped. Um, that came out wrong. That came out really, really wrong. Uh, I do like to... You know what? There's no salvaging that. That's just... That's awful, and it's going to remain awful, and we're just going to live with it. Alright. Bye to we all. Let's just never talk about this again. <clears throat> ben Garl. Ben Hart. Let's try this again. What's up, guys? Hey. No. No. Come on. That's unnecessary. There we are. I don't remember that being a thing. Ow. It seems he put away his shield. Now here's the thing, she will go and try and revive her husband. So once you put damage down on one, you're gonna wanna try and take her down too. Ow.
Namely, you don't want to end up focusing one for too long, because you'll end up with this situation here. Where a couple's therapy means that we end up with friggin' this guy coming back with full health. Good stuff. I guess the question is whether or not Nishandra so shows up. Well, looks like not. Oh, that's right. So there is a memory you have to go finish before you can do this. I feel silly. You want to finish the game, you gotta go Travel to this place, back to the uh, King's Gate. There's a reason it's called that. Man, I feel really silly. Totally forgot that if you kill Vessel Dalt, you still have to kill the uh, Giant King, which means you have to go and become a blast from the past. I know it sounds super corny, but you really do. Take down a nerd. Take down this nerd. Swing over here. Kill this nerd. Go through this door. Which you got the soldier's key for. Come through here. This is a Grand Lance. That's a random item. Get this door to open. Bonfire's on the other side, which is rather convenient. You'll be able to summon Benhart for this, which is always nice. Gonna want to use the uh, Ashen Mist Heart to go in here. Basically, if you didn't talk to either Jugo or the uh, captain, which is in a different memory, you're not able to uh, go into this memory. The good news is, you can just kind of wait for that head that you remember from the very beginning of the game to come down. And, uh, yep, yeah, there it comes. There it comes. There goes one, and there goes the other. Sweet. I feel bad, he made people noises. Now you gotta take care of this guy. Man, do I want his sword. It's like the size of a friggin' skyscraper causes friggin' earthquakes. This boss, fairly easy. Should remind you of uh, our good friend Tiny from the very beginning of the game. Just melt him. Nice and easy. Giant kinship. Solid giant. Old radiant life gem. Grab a couple extra items from here. Fire seed. Sweet. Swing down over here. Grab the soul of a giant. 
which is necessary to do damage to uh, Vendrick. Get a bunch of those, you can take care of Vendrick, no problem. Oh, return to your last bonfire. Itchy beard. Ah. Then we go back to Kingsgate. Now there are two more boss fights. There's Nasrandra, and then there's uh, Dude Broham Head Dude. So we're gonna end the video here, and I'll see you in our last episode um, for the general walkthrough of uh, Skull of the First Industrial Souls.